John Surratt with Brian Schwartz. Today's the day Quinnipiac men's basketball team plays Brown Bears at Providence, Rhode Island. Now, Brian, starting off with out-of-conference play, what do they want to get out of this out-of-conference stretch? Well, John, this is a very important stretch for the Bobcats. Obviously, they want to have a successful conference slate, but right now is a stretch where they have three games in a row coming up next weekend at the Bobcats Invitational, and then they have another tournament later on in Atlantic City. So Quinnipiac is going to have a lot of games in a short amount of time, and this is a chance for a lot of players to prove themselves. We know about this freshman class that this Quinnipiac team has with Seth Pinckney, and you got the redshirt freshman in Savion Lewis and Matt Belong. So there are a lot of pieces to this Bobcats team that we don't really know what to expect, and now's the time where we're going to see that. Definitely just preparing us for the toughest situations. Uh, we played Brown. It's a really good team. Uh, you know, we play in a three-game tournament, like preparing us for the MAC tournament. Um, you know, tr just trying to see everything so that when we get to the MAC and the MAC tournament that we're not surprised by anything. Really excited, honestly, uh, but we just know that it's just another game, just another step, just another step towards our, our goal at the end of the year. We got a, a lot of new guys that we haven't played together for a while. It was good to go to Canada and sort of get a head start on that process and have guys play their first games um, as Bobcats. But... I think learning and finding our identity for what we're going to be this team and what's going to separate us from the rest of the MAC. Now the Bobcats do start play against the Brown Bears. Now what's the key for the Bobcats to come out with today? Well, Quinnipiac is going to want to obviously start off on the right foot in this out-of-conference slate, and Brandon Anderson is the top player for Brown. He's averaging 27 and a half points so far, just two games, but that's a huge start for him. He's got four steals in each of their first two games, eight total on the season. So he's obviously a force on the offensive end and on the defensive end. So whether it's Rich Kelly, Tyrese Williams, whoever is going to be guarding him, they need to step it up in this game. We're not just going to throw one guy on him and be like, you'll go lock him up. Uh, I think it's, it's a team defense. It's loading uh, or jumping to the ball when he has it, getting in gaps, getting swipes on him. And, uh, you know, uh, he's going to make some shots, but just making them tough shots, you know, not let him get easy buckets. Quinnipiac against Brown tonight at 7 p.m. Catch all our coverage at Q30 Sports and at Q30TV.com. For Brian Schwartz, I'm John Surratt.